Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 2nd of 2022, well, it is titled the Galactic Center in Radio from Meerkat. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image looking at the radio portion of the spectrum and looking at what is called the spectral index. And that's how it's color coded there. And things with a very negative spectral index are in the red. And those with a very positive one are in the blue. And it shows the radio emission there from various portions around the center of our galaxy. Now the galactic center is the brightest radio source in the sky. However, because of all of the dust between us and the center of the galaxy, we can't see it in visible light. So there's nothing that stands out there when you look towards the direction of Sagittarius, which is where the center of our galaxy happens to be located. So if you look at it in visible light, you see absolutely nothing because of the immense amounts of dust in between us and the center of the galaxy. However, radio waves, which are longer, are able to penetrate it and give penetrate the dust and give us an image like we see today. And we can actually label it here, label some of the uh, parts here. And the radio sources are given by uh, the constellation in which they're in, in this case, Sagittarius, abbreviated SGR, and then a letter in order of their discovery and strength. So Sagittarius A is the strongest source, which is the central portion of our galaxy. We see Sagittarius B, which is split up into two parts over to the left of that Sagittarius C to the right and Sagittarius D, which is actually a supernova remnant off to the far left hand side. And in fact, we see several other supernova remnants there as well. And the supernova remnants are lo located by the galactic coordinates. So you can see that those to the right will have a very large numbers going up to 360 or zero, which would be where Sagittarius A is located. And measure, they would measure increase towards the left here. And you can imagine going all the way around the sky to come back. The center of our galaxy would also be the zero point of the galactic coordinates. So we see that it's positive 01 for the one 0.1 for the one above it and negative 0.5 for the one down below the central portion of our galaxy. Now these supernovae of course would not have been seen and that's again because of all of that dust we would not be able to detect them in visible light. So even though supernovae are immensely bright and had there not been a lot of material in between us and these uh, supernovae they would have been very prominent because of that dust they get blocked out completely and we actually end up seeing nothing. Now we look at this in more detail as we try to understand what's going on at the central portions of our universe, uh, sorry, of our galaxy. And we see that there is an arc of material, but there's also a whole number of streamers scattered around there. So different parts of material that is being emitted from the intense activity going on at the central portions of the galaxy. And at the center of Sagittarius A is a supermassive black hole which would have something about a mass of 4 million times the mass of our sun. Now speaking as supermassive black holes go, that's actually relatively small. But it does give off a lot of energy as material spirals into that black hole from stars and gas clouds nearby. And as the black hole slowly consumes them, it can give off a significant amounts of energy, making Sagittarius A the brightest radio source in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for February 2nd of 2022. It was titled The Galactic Center in Radio from Meerkat. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.